Hello students, I'm just going to make a quick video for you to show you how to use Excel to graph the data that you're getting from our enzyme catalysis experiment. So I'm going to share my screen. And um, we've got here a data table. This is like our first data table. And I'm just going to copy and paste this. So I copy that there and in Excel, I'm going to paste it into Excel. And um, then I, there's a couple of things that I'm going to do here to just modify it so that it, Excel knows how to read it. So I'm going to highlight this first row. That's going to be sort of my X value on the graph, the percent of catalase. I'm going to hold down the command key on a Mac or control key on a PC. And I'm going to highlight that bottom row. That will highlight just those two rows and not what's in between. I'm going to now copy it, control C, and I'm going to paste it, but I'm going to paste special and I'm going to do something called transpose. So when I transpose it, it's going to take those two that were rows and turn them into columns. Okay, so this is going to be easier for um, Excel to deal with just in terms of uh, graphing it. And then it's important to remove um, extraneous sort of letters here, like the thing that we want to graph is um, just the number, like the rate here. So I'm gonna delete all of this extra stuff and just have the rate there and get rid of the units. I can do it. Okay, there we go. And the last one here. getting rid of our extraneous stuff and getting rid of the units. So we've got all of these numbers here. Now I've got percent catalase and rate. And what I wanna do is make a graph. So I'm gonna to go to insert and I'm gonna go over here to this XY scatter plot and I'm gonna insert the XY scatter. And it should look like this where we've got um, percent catalase on the X axis and our um, rate on the y axis. And if we want, we can add chart elements like we can include a horizontal title and a vertical title. So we can say this one is, oh, we can say this one is, uh, you know, percent catalase. And this one is the rate. And then in order to answer one of the questions on the lab report, it asks you to predict what the rate would be if um, we had 60% catalase, which isn't a data point that you've actually calculated. So um, it's helpful to have a best fit line. So what we're gonna do is just um, select the data points and then right click and choose add trend line. And that's gonna add a, a linear trend line um, onto our chart and we'll get the equation. So now if I'm trying to calculate um, what the rate would be when I've got 60%, that's like solving for y when x equals 60. So I can use the equation here to calculate out what that rate would be. Okay, now for the um, acid and base, it's a little bit more complicated because there's like a little bit more data. So I'm going to copy over some of this data, just like um, I'll make a new sheet in Excel. Uh, we'll just paste it, that's fine. So we'll copy the pH and then I'm gonna copy the rate. And again, I've just got to like edit this a little bit so that it's Excel is going to understand uh, what we're saying. Get rid of those units. Okay, so now I've got pH data, I've got rate data, and I need also the basic information. So I'll come over here and grab these guys. and the rates. 
And again, just fix this so that we don't have this issue with the units. Excel just likes to have numbers. Okay. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all of this stuff and I'm gonna copy and I'm gonna transpose paste it here as well. So paste special and then transpose. And now I've actually got two data series. I've got this data series that's for my acidic stuff and this data series that's for my basic stuff. So I'm going to uh, highlight this guy over here and I'm going to insert my scatter plot again. Um, so there you go, it's a little funny. Um, our pH 5.3 is a little weird. Um, and now on this graph, I'm going to select data and I'm gonna add another series. So for my second series, I want my X values to be these guys. And I want my Y values to be these guys. And then I'll say, okay. And now both of these should appear on the graph. The state is a little bit messy, it's not perfect, but we're gonna go ahead and put in a trend line for each of these. So right clicking again, adding a trend line there and right clicking and adding a trend line here. And we should be able to see something that we get a higher activity of the enzyme sort of around pH seven, which is what we're looking for. Um, the last uh, data that we have is from temperature. And you guys already have a plot of the temperature. So I'll just share that really quick. This is from our spreadsheet that we have for the class data. And there is a trend line here, but it's sort of misleading. Um, if we look more holistically at the data, we can see that we've got increasing rates up until about 35 degrees and then decreasing rates when we go above about 40 degrees. So um, that's gonna be sort of the trend that you're gonna wanna talk about with that. So uh, those are all of the ways that you have to manipulate the data in Excel. I hope that's helpful for you to make the graphs and um, be able to communicate your data more clearly. Thanks.